This is uh, Dan Meyer with RCR Wireless News. I'm here at the Mobile World Congress show in the PowerWave booth, uh, checking out all the stuff that PowerWave's got going on. Uh, I guess one question I wanted to ask you guys was, um, uh, I mean, th there's a lot of focus at the show on LTE deployments, yep. um, and also small cells, which is you know what, right up your guys' alley. Right. Uh, how do you guys see, I guess, the small cell playing into this deployment? I, mean, I know, you know, the LTE specifications kind of took into account small cells to begin right. with. Um, how are you guys seeing that that kind of work together, and, and our carriers? Uh, getting more and more on board with, with kind of using small cells for their LTE deployments? Well, I think we see a rapid transition from the operators to thinking about small cells more aggressively. Okay. Uh, the reason is because the capacity demands are so high, even the operators who have deployed LTE mm -hmm. and only are in 12, 18 months in the network are saying, I need a small cell, because yeah. they're really experiencing that demand model, right? The operators that are not are finding out, well, what are my choices now, right? Because before, they had only one choice. Yeah. You can do a macro network. Now the choice is, if I have a good 3G network, I have a good umbrella coverage, and I really want LT for high-speed data offload, yeah. right? Or the fact that I want to create more revenue for certain applications, I can be more surgical yeah. and deploy it where it's located. So I think we see a demand model there. Uh, we are seeing also interesting demand models. We had um, uh, the Thai government in here a little while ago, and the Thai minister, and he basically said, I want to hook up three 30,000 villages in Thailand, and I want to put all the schools, I want to put an iPad in every school kid's hands. So if that's the mission, I need a broadband wireless infrastructure for that. And what is that infrastructure? Well, it's an LTE Wi-Fi system. And Wi-Fi because we want it cost-effective, cheap, so they can get broadband access to LTE, so we can price the quality, service, and performance, so you can have a closed-loop environment where schools are getting their curriculum and their videos and stuff. So when they look at the LTE Wi-Fi Pico cells, like, this is perfect. This is what we need. And we don't need big towers and others. We need small infrastructure that can be lighter, easier to deploy, and faster to deploy. So I think there's a, there's a strong interest in really enabling true broadband wireless with a small light infrastructure so that's the demand model we see uh, again different operators at different stages of their uh, of their life cycle but I think they're all getting excited by the possibility of deploying things faster and getting the same performance they're getting on the macro network gotcha and and I guess uh, how are you seeing uh, the small cells uh, kind of play when it comes to I mean I mean DAS systems have kind of, yep. well, kind of had a place there and it now seems like small cells can be maybe a, co a competitor to that or a complementary how do you see we DAS actually, and small we, cells we playing together complementary we, we are a big DAS prize you know we got all the DAS products, and I was telling earlier is when you look at the DAS deployments, the, the DAS deployments are driven by capacity more than coverage now. Coverage is a requirement, but capacity is the need. And as you start sectorizing and getting more DAS sectors, the challenge becomes how do you put capacity where you need it? So even within a DAS network, you get the coverage and you say, I want capacity in this location. You add a PicoCell there or a DAS Wi-Fi solution. So we're implementing that in our solutions now. We're offering to our customers as a toolbox to say, if you want basic coverage and you want all carrier interoperability, do a DAS system. If you want to add in capacity specifically for a certain carriers and frequency, add the PicoCell or the Wi-Fi on top of that. So actually it's working well together. Great. Well, Kramer, thanks so much for the time today. I appreciate it. This is uh, Dan Meyer with RCR at the Mobile World Congress show in Barcelona. Thanks.